U.S. military sends 70,000 troops with secretive plans to encircle China in the South China Sea. Joe Biden is moving ahead with a terrifying plan to encircle China by planting U.S. troops on islands around the mainland country, amid growing fears of military conflict. There are mounting concerns that war could break out between the U.S. and China. Former U.K. MP George Galloway warned that an accidental military conflict could erupt as the U.S. floods the region with its soldiers. This comes amid a high-level Pentagon plan to send U.S. troops to the Pacific to be in close quarters with China. The U.S. is set to spend more than $5 billion alone on the Pacific Defense Initiative in 2022 as they counter the threat of China. RT's Rick Sanchez said, we are learning that top military officials are indicating to Congress that what they really need to do is move U.S. military forces, actual troops, to the islands around the South China Sea, to be in close quarters with China. Some U.S. experts have raised fears that this move will put Americans in danger with China capable of striking hard and fast in its own neighborhood, if pushed. The U.S. already has over 70,000 troops in Japan and South Korea, and there are also plans to station more troops in Australia. China has responded to the plans by criticizing Washington's Cold War and zero-sum mentality. Wang Wenbin, the Chinese Foreign Affairs Ministry spokesman, said, playing the China card has become an excuse for the U.S. to increase its military expenditure and build up its military strength. Mr. Galloway noted, the idea of encircling the country with the biggest population in the world, with the biggest army in the world, and the second biggest economy in the world strikes me as madness. Encircle it for what? To blockade it? Does anyone think China will allow itself to be blockaded? The idea that the US soldiers will be planted on islands around China is pregnant with so many terrifying possibilities as to chill the blood. It feels like the run-up to the First World War. Everyone has tooled up for war, so they might as well have a war. On Wednesday, the U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin issued an internal directive to laser focus U.S. military efforts to address China as the nation's number one pacing challenge. The plans aim to provide billions to upgrade U.S. forces around the region, including the Aegis Ashore missile defense system for Guam, new radar defenses for Hawaii and more troops near China. On Thursday, the Australian Defense Minister, Peter Dutton, backed plans to increase the number of American military personnel rotating through the Northern Territory and having U.S. Navy vessels operate from a base near Perth. Raising the fear of impending war with China, Mr. Dutton said that Australia must be prepared for any contingency. He said it was more important than ever that we have a frank and nuanced discussion with the Australian people about the threats we face.
Good morning.